This video demonstrates the procedure for mounting SKF SNLD plumber block housing assemblies with taconite seals and spherical roller bearings. Today we are using a training rig which simulates the stub shaft of a typical life shaft conveyor pulley. In this video, we will concentrate specifically on the points relevant to the SNLD housing and TKN taconite seals and importance of seal alignment. The following table is available on request. It includes the relevant information required for the installation of each size of SKF SNLD series housing assembly of conveyor specification available from SKF. The SKF mount app available on skf.com provides detailed mounting and dismounting instructions for the spherical roller bearing itself based on bearing designation. The following tools will be required to complete the installation. For validating shaft diameter and form tolerance, a straight edge and bearing blue and external micrometer. For the actual bearing installation, SKF hydraulic nut suitable for SKF drive up method, hydraulic pump with digital gauge, dial indicator, impact spanner to tighten locking nut and steel hammer. For the housing and seal assemblies, spanner socket set appropriate for bolt size for given housing, torque wrench and allen key. Inspect the condition of the shaft and check if it conforms to the tolerance considering straightness and dimension. Shaft tolerance for bearing fitted with adapter sleeve is H9 and form tolerance to IT5. One TKN seal kit contains all components to assemble the seal for one side of the housing. The set includes installation instructions page, one grease adapter, three set screws, V-ring seal, shaft o-ring, rotating labyrinth seal, stationary seal carrier and seal o-ring. Position the V-ring on the labyrinth ring step with the V-ring slip facing away from the labyrinth ring. Place the o-ring in the groove on the labyrinth ring bore. A small amount of grease can be applied to the o-ring to hold its position. Place greased o-ring onto the seal carrier. Slide the inboard labyrinth onto the shaft past its final position. Ensure the labyrinth and the V-ring lip are facing towards the housing. A small amount of mounting oil can be used to help facilitate installation. Slide the carrier along the shaft into position. Lightly oil the bow of the adapter sleeve, then place it on the shaft with thread facing towards the end of the shaft. Apply a coating of light oil to the bearing bow and adapter sleeve. Raise the bearing to the shaft and carefully position the bearing onto the adapter sleeve. Attach dial indicator and hydraulic pump to the hydraulic nut. Using the SKF drive up method, fit the bearing securely onto the adapter sleeve. Details regarding the mounting information for SKF drive up method can be found at skf.com. For 23144 CCK, the SKF drive up method details are start position pressure of 2.71 MPA and drive up distance of 1.46 mm. Once bearing has been mounted, remove the hydraulic nut, fit and secure the lock nut. Position the housing base underneath the bearing and slowly raise housing into position. If the bearing is the fixed bearing, Insert the two appropriate fixing rings, one each side of the bearing as shown. Fill base cavities with appropriate grease quantity. Refer to the table drawings for amounts. Apply non-gasketing sealant to the housing at the joints. Use a continuous but thin bead don't oversupply so that it leaks into the bearing seat. Lower the housing cap onto the housing. Take care not to damage the o-rings. Tighten the cap bolts. Top values can be found in the SKF housing catalogs. For SNLD 3144, the recommended cap bolt tightening torque is 350 newton meters. Position the labyrinth seals using alignment groove on the seal carrier as position indicator. If visibility is restricted, use a 4mm thick shim or gauge block between rotating seal and stem of grease adapter as a guide to help position the seal. 
Complete a visual inspection for the alignment groove opposite to the grease adapter and tighten the remaining grub screws to approximately 5 newton meter. Please take extra caution for non-locating floating bearing end while adjusting the housing position. Carry out final seal alignment after this step to ensure correct installation. When completing final in situ installation, use the alignment groove to check the angular alignment of the labyrinths. Shim or otherwise adjust the housing as needed to minimize misalignment. Seal the interface between the seal carrier and housing with a bead of silicone. Insert and tighten the grease supply adapter. Attach grease supply and fill the labyrinths completely with seal grease. The grease nipple location will be dependent from the position of pre-lubrication center from the W33 groove on the outer ring or side from the side face of the bearing. When at end of shaft, an end cover will be fitted. Apply a continuous but thin bead of non-gasketing sealant at the joint to help prevent moisture ingress. Position then tighten the 6 M10 bolts to 44 Nm stock. 